Okay, now I'm going to drag this down into my dock into op to open it up in Photoshop, this photograph of a Jaguar. And I'm going to um, use the quick selection tool right here. And I'm going to click on Auto Enhance because that will make a smoother, more refined um, edge. And then I'm just going to sort of paint inside of here very quickly to get the shape of this down. Just hit all the big chunks. I uh, didn't want to get that big shadow at the bottom, so I'm going to hold the Option key to, you know, subtract that area. Okay, so you can see it got a little negative sign, and if I release it, it gets positive, but anyway, I'm just going to erase that. Okay, positive. Alright, hit the negative button, get rid of this shadow. And the quick select, I don't need this tire because I'm going to do the, reuse this in flash. And I'm going to replace those tires so I don't want those. And I'm just going to reduce the size by hitting the bracket keys left and right to enlarge and reduce the size of the, the brush here. Okay. And I'm just going to try to knock this out really quick. And I'm going to just cover this entire area and then hit the um, option key to subtract it. It's a lot easier than trying to go through and get that very precisely. Okay, I think that about no, almost does it. I'm just going to blow across here real quick. Alright, and then here I'm just going to hit the negative. I hit the option key to subtract that area. Okay. And it seems like oh hit the seems like I got pretty much everything here. And again I hit the option key to remove. I'm just gonna get rid of that because again I don't need that that tire because it will be covered over. And I'm hitting the space bar to scroll left and right. Okay, it seems like I got everything. And so from here, I'm just going to hit Command J to copy this layer. If you see in the layer, it jumped it to the new layer. And then I'm just going to turn the eye off on the background, and you can see my selection here. Okay, so that's what I'm going to work with. So now I'm going to go to File, and you can't really see this because it's off the screen. And I'm going to hit Save As, and I'm going to just call it Jag. And... I am going to save this as a JPEG, I mean a PNG. Okay, if I saved it as a JPEG, the background would be um, would be white. So, but I don't want a white, I want to maintain that transparency. A GIF will also give you a transparency, but the GIF doesn't maintain the, um, the opacity, the precise opacity. It's with a, a GIF, it's either 100% opacity or 100% no opacity. Whereas a PNG file, it's a bigger file, but it will maintain that extra extra weight. I'm just hit the the space command and option key to zoom out there, and I'm gonna crop this down to size because this is a little bit big. I don't want to again. I want to optimize my my flash since I'm using this in flash. I don't want any extra, you know, extra pixels. That I'm not using so it can load now I'm gonna hit save it save that as again and okay jag uh, PNG boom save replace yes interlace none and we're done